Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the Swin and Town Swooty Poopers, and today we are in the Johnstown Paint Trophy Tournament against Aldershot Town. They don't have an Aldershot. We haven't scored yet here in uh, John Green Plays FIFA 13, but we do have some names for the players, so that's something. Today uh, we are going to continue discussing Project for Awesome uh, topics. People who don't do the Project for Awesome in the Swoodly Pooper category got to uh, choose things they wanted me to talk about in videos. And today, Katie Lawrence, um, Project for Awesome donor, wanted me to talk about music education, particularly in elementary schools and stuff. So I'll talk about my experience with that um, and whatever opinions I have on it. I also want to introduce you to a couple players on, on, on our team. Um, we're just still getting to know each other, the FIFA 13 Swoodly Poopers. You know, I mean, I think Ball John Green and other John Green, they're both great players, but they came into a, a team that's strong on strikers already. It's just, it's just there's some awkwardness still, you know? But we got... We got Stuff. Stuff is our um, uh, our captain today. Uh, he doesn't really have a nickname yet. It's just Stuff. But if you have suggestions, then that's fine. Uh, there's some. There were some good suggestions. See Stuff score, things like that. But uh, you know, to me, he's j still just Stuff. Um, just Stuff. No big deal. Uh, but we do have we do have some great nicknames for some of the players here. I'll show you who do we have starting. Of course, we have Wes Foderingham in goal. Uh, we call him Wesley Crusher Foderingham. Um, and when, uh, when he makes a good save, we say, he's an ensign. Um, we also, uh, we also uh, call him uh, Green, Green Eggs and Fodringham. Um, uh, and, and we were like, I, maybe we should write a Dr. Seuss rhyme about his, score, his, his uh, saving abilities. Um, I think he's, he's a great keeper, and he's going to be with us for a long time. So uh, he's a good one to make an investment in. Uh, then, of course, we have uh, Jerry Coke, um, or Coca-Gola, as we sometimes call him. Um, and when he scores, we, we get to sing a, a, a song to the tune of If I Could Buy the World of Coke. Um, you'll notice, speaking of music education, how good my singing uh, has gotten uh, here it, in FIFA 13. I haven't gotten to sing a song yet on account of how we, we haven't scored. But, um, but I, I, I can promise you that I've been taking some pretty serious lessons, and uh, I'm going to be the real deal. Oh, that was almost. It was almost. He's almost in. Oh. Ah. So basically, I mean, t to summarize my opinion on music education, I'm in favor of it. Oh, speaking of things I'm in favor of, I'm in favor of scoring goals. It's other John Green. Oh, ball John Green to other John Green. John Green's John Green's ball to other John Green's. They're the best forwards that Swindon Town has ever seen. How's that for music education? Oh, finally. Just, you know, and it's an old school Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers goal. Other John Green finishing with his head, as he so often likes to do. Context is everything. So, um... I, I had great music education when I was a kid. I, um, you know, it was still a very big part of uh, of when I was when I was in high, in elementary school. I, I think pretty much every school in the country still had um, music education programs. That is, of course, very rare now, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I it was it was huge to me. It was a huge part of. Oh, you should have passed there, buddy. Should have passed, ball, John Green. It's still difficult to get used to the facial changes that occurred when he was inside the TARDIS moving into FIFA 13, but I'm, I'm, st I'm starting to like him. Um, I, yeah, so I mean, like, I, I remember I, st I, I was never particularly musical, like, I, I never had much talent, but, um, but that's not the sort of, like, center of what music, music education does, at least, like, for kids like me who aren't going to be, you know, mu musicians. Um, it teaches you all kinds of different things about um, about sound um, and about the way, uh, like the way that I don't. I, it's hard to say like musical stories, but there is sort of a narrative to to sound, a narrative to music and tones and stuff. Um, it teaches you a lot about that, which was very important to me. Um, but also, like it was just it, it was it was it was a class that I really like enjoyed and got a lot out of. Um, which in elementary school in particular is pretty rare. There weren't many classes that, you know, I felt like I was learning on a daily basis, but I really did in music. Um, and I can still, you know, like I, my, my music, my music like skills stopped in elementary school when I stopped, after which I stopped taking music classes. I did take one music appreciation class when I was in high school, you know, where, um, which was a basic classical music kind of study course, but it was really, really helpful and it's still, informs my ability to like listen thoughtfully to music which you're not I mean you are sort of born knowing how to do it but you also sort of aren't and so oh that would have been a great finish 
I expect a little bit better of you, John Green. Just a little bit better in terms of the finishing. Um, uh, but my main memory of my music class from elementary school was that one time I tooted um, when we were playing the recorder, and I tried to blame it on the recorder, and it didn't go well. Uh, they didn't buy it, my classmates, and they made fun of me pretty much for the rest of my life. I mean, I don't think like that's the sole reason why I was unpopular, or even the primary reason, but it did, it did happen. It was the great tooting disaster of 19... 85 or whatever. Um, yes, that is my primary memory from music class. It's very sad to me that there aren't any mu many music classes anymore. There is a general, I think, um, emphasis, uh, you know, the emphasis is on these, uh, quote unquote, like the bankable skills, this, you know, science, technology, math, um, things like uh, reading. Um, th uh, you know, I, I think some of that speaks to our habit as a species of, or, or particularly like our, our modern habit of um, assuming that, uh, that what is measurable is important. Um, inst instead of trying to find ways to measure uh, what is important, we, we see the things that we know how to measure and we say, well, they must be important because we know how to measure them. Um, and, and, you know, so science, science testing, math testing, even reading, you know, even reading comprehension tests, those are things that we can con kind of quantify. Uh, we can quantify music comprehension in relationship to music, but it starts to seem a little soft. Um, and, you know, too often in schools these days, there is this, this uh, construction around the hard subjects of science and, and then the soft subjects. History is sort of medium soft, but literature is very soft, and then music is like softest of all. Um, music and arts, you know, like visual, visual art, I guess, is very soft as well. 1-0 Swoodley Pooper lead at halftime. This is huge for us. We finally scored. Aldershot Town shaking their heads, just confused. By the way, I think this is a League 2 team, which might be why we scored on them. But that's okay. That's okay. We're just going to keep... What we're going to do is we're just going to keep... We're going to try to be a little more patient in front of goal, a little more thoughtful, and we're going to go aggressive, and we're just going to kind of see what happens here. Um, but, yeah, I... I I'm disappointed by both the lack of arts and music education in uh, in public schools today, um, and I, I wish there were a lot a lot more of it. I, I think it's a huge part of like engaging kids intellectually. It's a different way into um, being kind of intellectually thoughtful and and curious, um, and a way that's accessible to to a lot of kids who uh, you know don't maybe get a big kick out of spelling. Um, so, I, and in fact, like, if anything, I wish that I'd had more of it. Um, I still feel kind of, like, woefully undereducated in the field, to be honest with you. Um, and it's something that I feel, oh, you need to pass a little bit crisper. Crisper passing, friends! Um, it's something that I still feel a little bit of, like, embarrassment about. Everybody has the places where they're, um, they feel sort of, like, embarrassingly ignorant. And for me, the number one is music. Like, I, I've, I've gotten pretty... You know, I've gotten a sort of reasonable contemporary arts education um, informally in the last, you know, 10 years of being married to my wife, who is a contemporary arts curator. But um, I still don't have, I still don't have the music appreciation that I, I wish I did. Um, oh, come on, guys. You just, what we need is crisper in the box passing. I don't know if we need to hit the button harder. Um, context is everything. Or, uh, or what, but we need crisper in the box passing. Oh, there's a beauty! Oh, it's Bostock, Beastock's cousin. Oh, Bostock. Oh, chicken Bostock, Beastock's beautiful cousin. I don't have a song for him yet. Meredith, do we have any kind of song for him? I don't. I wasn't prepared for Bostock to score. Look at his. Oh, he's a. Oh, it's a beauty. We only score with our heads. Oh, we just love. We love to give and receive head in the uh, in the Swoodley Poopers. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was past the line. <laughs> oh, I'm just so excited to be winning a game. I apologize. Here I am talking about elementary music school education and then just, you know, in the wrong context. That could have sounded terrible. Um, anyway, yeah, we, um, yeah, so it is one, it is one place where I wish that I had more formal education. And I like, it's something like if I were, oh no. Oh, Green Eggs and Fodringham? Green Eggs and Fodringham? Hmm. Wesley Crusher is just devastated. 
Now, why are you, you know, that's a little, that's a big celebration for a team that's still losing. Aldershot Town, wouldn't get too fancy, fancied up yet. Thank gosh for Bostock. Um, I don't know where we'd be without him. So, uh, yeah, it is like if I were going to take a college class, I'd probably take it. At least one of the one of the first college classes I would take would be in music education because, or like, you know, how to like, I don't know, how to listen to classical music, music theory. I don't know what it's called. Because um, I really enjoy classical music, but I also, I, 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 it's difficult. It's like anything. It's like any field of study. You, if you can't contextualize it very well, you can't enjoy it. Um, as much as if you can contextualize it well. Like, I feel the same way about contemporary art. People are always saying, oh, like, I could paint that or whatever. But once you can kind of, uh, once you have the, the background to be able to contextualize um, contemporary art practice, it gets really, really interesting and really intellectually engaging and really rewarding. And I, that's the same for, it's the same for classical music. The more you put into it, the more you get out of it. Um, and, you know, that's really the same for all kinds of music. It's also true for Katy Perry. But um, there does come a point, I think, at which sort of the law of diminishing returns kicks in and Katy Perry is not giving you that much back. Uh, you feel like you, you're doing most of the work, you know. Um, so, yes, to summarize, I am in favor of musical education and I would really like to beat Aldershot Town 3-1. Ball John Green wants to beat him 3-1 too. He's fast. He's super fast. He's super fast. How many times are you going to let me get fouled? Oh, no, I was fine. I was fine. You didn't have to do that. All right, I'm going to try to... Just going to try to whip it in here. What? Oh, did you get a card for being naughty? How does that feel? Did that hurt your feelings? Hope so. Oh, that's a beauty! Oh. Oh, wow, that was some great great link-up play, though, by the Swoodly Poopers. You've got to say, we have promise in the box. We just haven't quite figured out how to weight our passes in FIFA 13 uh, to allow us the success that I think we deserve at this point. I really think that we're getting closer. Oh, that was bad. I'm just not good at passing. This game is, the passing is significantly more complicated. Um, come on, get him. Plus, I don't really know how to defend. I just kind of run past people. That's my defending strategy. Or I tackle them from behind. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, yes, I... I, I I wish that, uh, I wish, I mean, I wish we'd make a lot of investments in public education, but that's certainly a big one for me. Go, 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 you're faster, you're faster, you're faster, you're faster, you're better looking, and faster, and you got fouled in the box, and they didn't call it because the referee has a conspiracy against Swoodley Poopers everywhere. It's disappointing. Um, yeah, so thank you for the excellent suggestion, Katie. I don't know if you are yourself a music educator, but DFTBA. And... Congratulations to the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers on their first FIFA 13 victory. Good to see that you still can't shake hands in this game. So much, so much progress has been made in graphics, but still no hand touching. Oh, I love these boys. Best wishes.